welcome back guys, we are Gemma and Campbell and you join us as we explore the northeast of Scotland and as we try to answer that all important question, what is van life really like? In this week's video we settle into the motorhome way of life and face the first trials and setbacks of our new adventure while also enjoying many of the benefits that this lifestyle has to provide. We discover what facilities Scotland has to offer for van lifers, head to the hills above Loch Lomond for an epic view and find one of the most picturesque park ups in the country. We parked up yesterday with an absolute banging view of the Bucolet of Moor, um, hoping that we would wake up in the morning and see a spectacular view over the mountain. About two hours ago we were woken up with the heaviest rain I've ever heard in my entire life, so we might not actually be able to see it at all. What do we think? Do you want to do the honours? No. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> there was a mountain there before, by the way, last night. <laughs> oh dear. I was so buzzing to hike that today. I know. I think especially yesterday as well, literally we just turned up and there was actually someone getting rescued from the top of it by the mountain rescue team. So it just shows you like in these kind of conditions, it can just change so quickly. It can be pretty dangerous. So I think we might just need to give that one a miss today, to be honest. Enjoy your tea and then we'll hit the road. Yeah. So for all you eagle-eyed viewers, we did actually move camping spot last night. The road was still really, really noisy at 10 o'clock. So we just thought, nah, let's just move on somewhere a bit quieter. So we headed down Glen Etive Way, which was really, a lot more peaceful. So due to the weather today, we are actually just going to head south and go down towards Loch Lomond Way and we're going to meet our friend there and go for a bit of a lower, more casual walk. So hopefully we can find some good weather down there. And yep, this is the joys of van life. Still in my pyjamas, in my dressing gown, whilst we drive to Loch Lomond. Living the dream. <laughs> A nice easy breakfast. A wee bit of toast. I know, keep us going. Uh, kind of almost suddenly in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> I know, exactly. <laughs> so uh, we've driven about an hour and a half south. We're just kind of uh, halfway down Loch Lomond now. And our friends text us saying she's at last. So we need to boost all the way down to there, but we need to get some food in us before we actually go anywhere else because I'm feeling a bit faint already. Quickly, get it in the grill. <laughs> well, you know what I love? You come down here and it is just motorhome city everywhere you look. It's just such a good community around this part of the world, no one even questions it. Hello! This is Sunny. Oh, where are you going? I'm Shannon. And the next stop is up the top of there. I don't know the actual name of this official route, but we use an app called All Trails, and there's a pretty good path on that, apparently. So we're gonna go and see if it takes us anywhere from the train station, up 450 meters to the top of that week orbit. Oh, big lie down. Nice and cold. That's a good idea. Is that a good wild swimming spot, Sonny? And just look at that view guys, absolutely stunning, we're literally 10 minutes off the road and that's why I just love this part of the world so much because it's just so easy to try and get up here and get lost in amongst all the different logging trails with stunning views over the glens and the lochs. That's Loch Lomond in the background, just through there takes you through to the Attica and it's just such a beautiful part of the world guys, it's so stunning. Wow. Now we were following a trail on all trails that isn't actually an official trail, it was just a wee dotted line on it. It said there was something apparently keeping going all the way up to the top of this hill, but we've literally got here and there's nothing that way. So I think what we're going to do instead is just follow our wee logging trail all the way around and then head back to the van and get lunch sorted. It's just so nice being out in the hills again in Scotland. I'm loving it. And that is not a bad view for a little swim, just to cool off again. What a, what a spot for it. The sun is already beating us into the water. 
On you go. Oh man, oh, this is it. I just love how freeing it feels. It's just so good. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, that's good. Oh, seaweed, seaweed. Oh, some touch my feet. What oh, a view. Compulsory high five. Beesh. Yeah, that is not a bad view to have on your doorstep, is it? Making the most of all these moments of being able to just like step outside the van and just have this. It's just a dream come true, isn't it? Where are we? Loch Lomond, Arakar, Tarbet. Tarbet. Tarbet Hotel, that's, that's where what it's we are. called. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is where you can get on the cruises um, for Loch Lomond. And you can also come and do a little bit of swimming here because a beautiful still loch. It's not actually that cold at the moment because it's coming in summer. So I highly recommend a little dip with that mountain view. Yeah, we had actually planned on heading further south along the loch and camp there, camping there tonight. But we just realised that the facilities here are incredible. They are. We didn't yeah. realise that this, they were that this good in Scotland. There's about 15 motorhomes all parked up here. It's like Motorhome Alley and there's a proper little sense of community here So if you're looking for a place to camp up for the night, it doesn't get much better than and this. And you can walk right down to the loch. And enjoy these views at sunset. Yeah. Reaching for the think we see a lot of good reflections or good sunsets but this has got to be one of the best sunsets we've ever seen yeah like that is absolutely stunning the loch is just so so, so still and it's just such a calm yeah, night I got some wine oh got some incense to keep the bugs away perfect and a smashing sunset right on our doorstep as well yeah can't ask for better than this this right is there. this is what van life is all about Smell coming off that is not pleasant. It's the joys of van life, I guess. The next morning, we quickly dealt with the new chores of van life before hitting the road south to our parents' house as we had a couple of DIY jobs still to finish on Ellie. Okay, so. We basically came back to Gemma's house because Gemma's dad is used to be a qualified electrician and used to work for himself. So if there was anyone that could help us with our inverter issue, it was definitely going to be Gordon. We've come up with a plan. This is Gordon's design, my artwork. And basically we're going to be connecting the two batteries in parallel, taking the existing relay switch or the charger, attaching that across the circuit, and then wiring them up to the inverter, which is all going to be mounted underneath the right hand seat. It's all good in theory, but I'm hoping we've got enough equipment for this to go smoothly. Now we came to actually cabling in the inverter. The cables that they gave us basically just were not long enough. You know, there was like maybe 12 inches of cabling. So what we've done instead is we've decided to get, just get some jump leads that are rated for 220 amps. So it should be absolutely ample amount of room for current. And then all we're gonna do is cut, 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 and then use that in the circuit instead. Do you like that one? Ample room. That's it, we've got a working laser battery, and that is it, right there. She's the thing of beauty, and uh, should we give her a test? Let's go for it. <laughs> to see if those past two days were a waste of time. <laughs> Three, two, one, yay! 
Yes, 240 volts, there we go. Good job. Uh, yes. <laughs> now I will actually put a description of everything that we did here, a very layman's terms, basic kind of layout of an inverter on our website. So if you're interested in that, go over there and check that out. But now it's just time to pack up and get on the road. I'm exhausted, so I think we might spend another night in the house, but tomorrow morning we're heading north and I cannot wait. The following morning we got Ellie kitted out with brand new trims, hit the shops to stock up for the road trip ahead, and set our sights for the Highlands of Scotland, and my god, were we impressed. First spot while camping up in Glenshee area. What an absolutely beautiful location. We're driving up through Glenshee and I just forgot how breathtaking this entire area actually is. Just, it's similar to Glencoe, but there's like maybe a tenth of the number of cars in it, which is like a huge bonus. But we're just parked up outside of um, a small town called Braemar. You drive along that road for a little bit and then there's just this viewpoint with a tiny wee car park view is just absolutely stunning down the glen. What is the plan for tonight? Well, the plan was to cook up a delicious dinner, but we decided to go for another kind of delicious dinner, which is a barbecue, because it is so hot. And it's now half past four. And we thought, let's sit out and enjoy the sunshine, get our yeah. barbecue out, use it for the first time. So we've picked up some charcoals, picked up some burgers. And this is what we're talking about. Proper 180 degrees all the way around the viewpoint. It's absolutely stunning, man. It's so beautiful. No peasant entrance for us. I've got my own private step. All right, let's switch this fridge across the gas. The fridge is still something we're kind of coming to terms with. Like I keep forgetting to switch it between gas and battery and we keep driving away with the gas actually still on. So we've come up with a checklist to just put in the kind of visor of the car. So before we drive away, I'm going to be sitting there like a captain or a pilot, just checking off everything so we don't drive away with the wheel clamp still on. I know, of course. Yeah, an absolute disaster. Know. We'll get there, we're getting used to it. Still just I'm getting used to this van life. We're going to settle in for the night, get the barbecue on the go, and hopefully we'll get a nice sunset. And so one of the most exciting things about being back on the road again is we get to try out all of this new camping equipment that we've been staring at for the past week or so. The first thing being a little fold up barbecue. We're gonna have a barbecue with that view tonight. The in tears in your eyes at every step of our goodbyes. Pink pearls and a rough old worn sweater. You left them behind like a love letter. No, that is just so typical if it's not noisy seagulls running the country and it's noisy <laughs> sheep. Or the deer. That was actually really funny. It was a few years ago we were camping in Gle uh, Bridge of Orkey and that literally the deer were like fighting outside our tent in the middle of the night. We got woken up and we were terrified. We actually got blocked from going back to our tent at one point, but it was so scary. frying up tonight? We are having some of Morrison's own vegan burgers. I've never actually had them before but it is amazing how many vegan and vegetarian options you can get that taste so similar to a burger. I'd say even if you're not vegan or vegetarian give them a try because they're so tasty. 100% agree with that. Oh that one's done. That one's yours. Me. And these are just two good guys. We're gonna kick back, enjoy the barbecue and the view. What a fantastic place to enjoy a barbecue man. Which is what van life was all about.
What a beautiful sunrise. What a beautiful morning. We've come to Stonehaven where we actually left yesterday. We basically read on the weather that it was just going to be so beautiful for the next couple of days and then we don't know when the sun's going to come back again. So we thought we cannot miss out being by the sea again in this kind of sunshine. We literally finished up the work we had to do and went basically. So I think we got here about... It was about 11. 11 o'clock last night, really so it was tired. it was dark, we were shattered, we just literally... We had to leave a blind open to get us up this morning. <laughs> yeah, and we've just been treated to this absolute feast for the eyes, it's just so beautiful. And I think of all the things so far from what we've experienced with living in the motorhome, this is definitely our favourite part, it's just being able to basically move house yesterday. You know, we decided that we didn't want to be in the mountains anymore and we wanted to be by the sea instead. So we just drove. And that for me is exactly yeah. what van life is all about. Just being able to actually be fluid about where you want to be and at what point in time. And yeah, I think it's just summarized it perfectly, to be honest. And so guys, we're sitting here rocking the socks and sandals, sipping on our teas and coffees, and just loving life. So we're going to lead, sound it off there, or whatever it is I normally say. <laughs> you take it from me, I'm too tired. I'm too tired. <laughs> we're going to end that video off now, guys, and sit and enjoy the sunrise. But if you did enjoy watching this video, then make sure you subscribe and hit that like button, and we will see you in the next one. Yeah, see you later. Oh Jesus, it's actually like flooding the van with smoke. Close the door! <laughs> That's definitely gonna set the smoke alarm off. Why is that all of a sudden God so smoky? And that is the biggest bee I have ever seen in my entire life. Now taking red. Okay, right. Gemma, we're moving out. Oh my God, it's so smoky in here. Oops. Hopefully that smoke alarm doesn't go. Ah, it's got no, it's got no batteries in it. This carbon monoxide alarm's got no batteries in it. I know, I've put some batteries in there. This was all part of a test. We knew exactly what we were doing. Let's try his way out. Excuse me, exit. The door's over there. Come out of there. Ah! The door's over there. That went. Oh, good, he's good, he's good. Right, you handled that terribly. I think you need to come down. <laughs> <laughs>